U.S. Senators urge the Biden administration to toughen response to incidents in space. We're talking about what happened a few weeks ago concerning the blowing up of the Russian satellite and into 1,500 pieces. And uh, it's not just Russia, but China has also done the same thing to one of the satellites. There are millions of pieces of junk up there. Now, the uh, bipartisan group of U.S. senators on Tuesday urged the administration to strengthen responses to incidents in space in wake of Russia's recent anti-satellite testing. They said the space domain is essential for the United States' modern economy, from foresting uh, scientific discovery and planetary exploration to facilitating next generation communication and global positioning systems, GPS. The scientific, technological, and national security benefits must be protected. That's what the senators wrote in their letter to Vice President Kamala Harris. They said, we request that you advocate for aligning space sustainability priorities and activities across the federal government and work to develop international dialogue on norms of responsible behavior in space. Harris chairs the National Space Council and will convene the entity's first meeting on Wednesday. In a separate letter to U.S. Secretary of Commerce Gina Raimondo, the lawmakers urged her to appoint a director and enhance the technical capabilities of the Office of Space Commerce, which is responsible for creating a space traffic management pilot program and repository with information on space objects, including space debris, or what we call space junk. The letter was designed by, signed by Democrat Senator Maria Cantwell, chair of the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation, and also Republican Senator Roger Wicker, Democratic Senator John Hickelooper, chair of Senate Space and Science Subcommittee, and Republican Senator Cynthia Loomis. Now, earlier in November, Russia successfully conducted the anti-satellite weapon system by destroying the old Russian spacecraft Selena D debris of the uh, destroyed spacecraft and was reported to pose a danger, of course, to the International Space Station. But the Russian Ministry of Defense noted the ISS was 50 to 60 kilometers higher than Selena D and said there was no threat to space station. Well, that's what they say, but that's not a good idea to have space debris up there. This is by Sputnik News. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.